um, that, then why are Republicans like Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger being kicked out of the House Republican Conference? Because they seem to have no place in this party and they might align more with those other governors who are trying to distance themselves. Right. But the House GOP is in a very different place than governors in other states. Look, inside Washington DC politics is not something that the Republican Party in mass is all that concerned with. My view has always been that Liz Cheney wanted to be kicked out. Uh, because remember, the first time that she made the statement she made, she was <clears throat> reelected. Um, to her leadership position. It's only when she continued after that, that looks like somebody who wanted to make a point and wanted to be kicked out. Well, she says the point she's making is to defend the Constitution of the but, United John, States. look, but, but, I mean, but whatever it is, it wasn't like she was looking to protect her position. And the first yeah. time that Republicans inside that caucus okay. had a chance to vote on Liz Cheney, they voted to keep her. So, so Over said, Chris Christie there uh, defending, I guess, the move by Republicans to oust Liz Cheney from her leadership position within the party because of her stances against what was going on on January 6th, as we all know at this point. But I think it's pretty revealing as he's saying all this about what he thinks Republicans should do or maybe politicians in general should do when it comes to their party versus reality. So some of the details of what happened with Liz Cheney back in 21 in case you don't remember. So House Republicans voted quickly on Wednesday to remove her, this back then, as their number three leader over her repeated criticism of Trump. An extraordinary shakeup that ties the party together to Trump and threatens to create a new litmus test for the GOP. The remarkable and fast moving campaign to dump Cheney, Congress's highest ranking Republican woman, and replace her with a Trump loyalist was orchestrated by House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy and his uh, and his top uh, folks there. So, um, uh, so the California Republican and his allies complained that Cheney's constant readiness to call out Trump's lies about the 20 election was a distraction that prevented the party from unifying around a cohesive message to win back the House next year. So we know that McCarthy's facing all this pressure. He's backing up Trump at any turn that he can. But Liz Cheney wasn't doing it. And I like that one line from Jonathan Carl, uh, 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 David when he said, well, yeah, I mean, maybe she was doing this to stand up for the Constitution. And his <laughs> response was, I mean, whatever it is she was doing, she wasn't trying to stay within the leadership of the party, which I think is pretty revealing. Yeah, that gave up the game right there. I mean, this is for Republicans, this is all just maneuvering and who should be in control of the party. And it doesn't really matter that we're trampling on the Constitution. We need to have a purity test in the Republican Party. And there's Liz Cheney, who's somehow impure because she's standing up for something that the Republican Party doesn't believe in. And the fact of the matter is, what the Republican Party doesn't believe in, is the Constitution. You're talking about so many members of Congress on the Republican side who try to derail a legitimate election in the United States and then fuel the January 6th riot. And Lynch Cheney is simply saying, no, we need to take a closer look at what happened. And for that, she's being excommunicated from the Republican Party. It's it's beyond ridiculous. And I and I and look, I think Republicans are gonna end up regretting this. Maybe this election, maybe down the road, they're gonna look back and history is gonna be very unkind to the Republican Party for how they handled Cheney and Adam Kinzinger.